In this video we're going to show you how to use Smart PSS with your DVR. After you've installed Smart PSS on the desktop you will see an icon. Double click the icon and if you're asked for permissions to allow the program to load, click yes. The software, if you've already launched it before and configured a username and password, it will load up and you will see the screen. To add a DVR, you go to Device Manager, and then you click Manual Add. Here we will add our own DVR, put in test 1, 2, 3 in this case. In the IP domain, you, you will put in the IP address of your DVR. In this case, we are using a dynamic IP. And we entered it here. You could put either a dynamic IP address or a static IP address or a dynamic one even. In the port, uh, the default port is three quadruple seven on our DVRs. In the username, you put in the admin as the user and the admin as the password. These are the default DVRs. then press getting info. It will try to connect to the DVR and get its channel information as to how many channels it has and so forth. In this case, it connected. It found the serial number, the video input, how many channels it has, and some other information. Make sure you click on create group. It is selected by default. Leave it as is and click add. Then go to the next screen it'll show you that DVR's pictures. On this case, here, you will see it's added as test one, two, three. And if you hit refresh picture, it'll get snapshots for that. This DVR only has cameras on the first 10. It's getting you snapshots for all of them. Once you can see when you select your DVR on the right hand side and on the left, left is the group. You can, if you wanted to rename your DVR, you could right click on the name on the left hand side, rename the group and call it something else. In this case, this test one, two, three is the DVR we're wanting to look at. Now let's hit finish. Now, if you want to view your DVR, you go to preview and you expand the DVR by hitting the plus sign next to it and you'll be able to see the channels that are connected to it. You can drag in a camera by s selecting it, holding down and dragging it into the window and you will be able to pull up the video for it. If you right click here, you can select the different stream types. When you drag a channel in from the right hand side, it is by default a mainstream. That consumes more bandwidth. If you look at the left hand side here, it is using 539 kilobits per second. At this place, it happens to be maxing out the internet connection. So for you to be able to see more fluid video, you might need to tone it down a bit because you're depending on your internet connection. In this case, actually, it's the, uh, the internet connection there is about 1000 kilobits or less. This is actually almost maxing it out so you can select extra stream it'll lower down the quality depending on how you've configured the extra stream on your dvr and you can see that when i did that it actually brought the bandwidth of this channel down to 108 kilobits per second from 500 and some this allows you to depending on the, your network connection speed add several channels and be able to deal with that added bandwidth. So I'm going to add several different cameras here from this DVR and select all of them to be extra stream. You can drag this site, this bar on the bottom to change the number of channels you're viewing at one time. Since this is a 16 channel DVR and we want to be able to see up to the 10 cameras, I have dragged it over to the 16 mark. There's a 13 option and a 9 option. To be able to evenly see all of them, let's use the 16 mark. And I'm just now selecting each box I want a channel to appear. So let's say I select this fifth 
box here. I right click and I select extra stream for that camera to open up directly an extra stream in here. And then I keep on going and I'm adding more and more cameras and extra stream to fill the screen so that I can view this DVR and monitor it. So if you were the user of this DVR, in this way you can pull up all your cameras and be able to monitor them from one remote location in one screen. This smart PSS software also lets you add multiple DVRs. So in this case, here's one from a totally different location and we're adding it into the extra stream and this is located elsewhere. The cameras you've seen before, they were somewhere in Texas and on the right hand side, they're somewhere in the Northeast. So this allows you to have DVRs located all over the world and be able to view them from one desktop depending on where your primary office is located. So I'm just going to confirm that everything is open in extra stream by right clicking and going to stream type and making sure that every one of them has extra stream selected on in it to make sure that this place's internet connection is not being taxed too much so that it bogs down their other internet traffic. And in this case it has worked fine. The camera's pulled up correctly. Everything is extra stream. Now you can create a task so that the next time you log in or if you're on a different view you can pull up this exact same view with exactly the same streams you selected by creating a video task. If you right click anywhere here and save as video task and you give the task a name the memo is basically a description of the task so you can let it be anything you want and then press save the task will show up on the left hand side and you can click on it and press start. So let me show you that for a second. Let's go back to preview and we're going to pull up one camera from the existing DVR we were looking at. just arbitrarily anywhere. And I decided, you know what? I want to go back to that screen I had with all the 10 cameras of mine. I'm going to hit the, my favorite task that I had added and press the start button. The screen will change to the number of channels or the screen type you had selected, whether it was 16, 10, 12, 13, 4, whatever you want. And it'll pull those channels up and retain the stream type as well. In this case, all of them are again, extra stream. The smart PSS software is really good in being able to view your cameras from different locations and also be able to play back record a video which we will cover in a different video. We do not recommend however smart PSS be used to manage the DVR. The device configuration settings either should be done at the DVR or using Internet Explorer. Hopefully you find this video useful. Please comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.